we're going to take you through using the tire changer to remove and replace the tire on a 20 inch rim. Take off the valve cap and remove the valve core. There are compartments on the side of the machine for putting items in and keeping them easily accessible. Wait until the tyre is fully decompressed. As this is an alloy rim, put the plastic protection on the bead breaker. This rim is 20 inches in diameter and the bead breaker only just fits. To get more width on the bead breaker, twist this pin and bring the metal sleeve forward. Now the bead breaker can come much further out and it's much easier to break the bead. Press on the second foot pedal to break the beading. Repeat the process on the other side of the tyre. These jaws have removable plastic covers to protect the rim. Use the foot pedal to open up the jaws. For this 20 inch rim, we're going to open up the jaws to just wide of the 20 inch mark. Take the plastic rim protector and slide it over the side of the rim. Using the pedals, lower the D-mount head and line up the rim protector so that it sits directly under it. Move the assist arm towards you and place it down directly on the tyre using the foot pedals to apply gentle pressure and push the tyre away from the rim. Lubricate the edge of the rim to help make the process easier. Use the lever on the D-mount head to bring the duck hook lever down. Using the foot pedal, rotate the rim until the duck hook lever is under the tire. Now use the lever on the D-mount head to lift the hook up slightly so that it catches the underside of the tyre. Gently prise the tyre away from the rim with the use of the supplied plastic spatula. The lower part of the tyre is dealt with in the same way. Lift the tyre up and use the duck hook lever and your plastic spatula to work the tyre away from the rim at the bottom of the tyre. Make sure the duck hook lever is completely up. Then lift the D-mount head away from the rim using the pedals and take the tyre off. First, check the rim before the new tyre goes on. If the rim shows signs of corrosion, it will need to be cleaned or possibly replaced. This particular rim is fine. Put a new valve on the rim. Apply tyre paste to help lubricate the rim, a little on each rim top and bottom. Also apply the paste on both sides of the beading on the tyre. Make sure the tyre goes on the right way. This rotation of the tyre needs to be checked to make sure it's on the correct rotation. Drop the D-mount head. A couple of things here. Make sure it goes above the lip on this side and down on this side. And rotate the turntable to drop the tyre over the wheel. Perform the same action again using the assist arms to push the tyre down. Rotate. If required, add extra tyre paste to help lubrication. Put the D-mount head back.
we are now ready to inflate the tyre. Attach the pump onto the valve and air using the foot pedal. A button on the pressure gauge releases air to help you achieve the correct pressure. While this particular tyre is easy to inflate, in the case of tyres that are not, the machine has an additional helpful feature. The levelless tyre changer has a booster tank and air jets on the clamped jaws. By pressing down hard on the pedal, air is forced through the clamped jaws and produces a flood of air around the bottom of the tyre. This assists with any hard to inflate tyres. This tyre is now complete. Put a cap on the valve to finish off.